we're going to look a little bit closer at null. So we've just set a string to null and saw what happened. Uh, now just to warn you, you'll get the exact same behavior if you do this and run it. Uh, so you want to be careful. You probably don't ever want to put the word null, a, a string value to equal the quote null unquote string like I just had. Uh, let's go and put some more things, some more objects equal to null. All right, so you can, this is an integer array I set to null, no problem. Uh, let's go ahead and do combo dot length. So you, normally this would give us the length of the array. And let's go ahead and run it. Now there's no errors in this code. Nothing's underlined in red. There's something wrong with it, but no errors. So what happened right here? We're trying to get the length of something that is null or of something that doesn't actually exist. And that's what the null pointer exception is right here. This might be one of the first exceptions that we want to read carefully. And generally, you want to look and find the first line of code that you wrote that uh, is listed here. In this case, it's the only line of code I wrote listed here, and it just takes you right to the line of code where the uh, null pointer exception was generated. All right, so you cannot ask for the length here, uh, just like you cannot access even the zero element. It's not an, it's not an actual uh, error that shows up in your code. It'll only show up when you run your code. Uh, so we got another null pointer exception. All right, so that's no pointer exception right there.